What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we got some WWE action figure epic AF hauls today. We got this package from my boy, Cody Fowler. You guys can give him a follow on Instagram. We also have two more packages that we'll get into in just a few moments. But when he sent this, guys, he actually sent it in a great big old box, which I'm really thankful for. It was a massive box. I was like, what in the crap is this? I unboxed the thing. He's got a letter in here that we're going to read. He's got some uh, different stuff. He's got some figures. And he also sent us a couple custom made Jason mask back there which will also show off but they were also taped up like guys these figures were it took me like 30 minutes just to unbox it I thought it was hilarious I sent him a message on Instagram I was like bro you're killing me with all this freaking tape that you sent this in but thank you so much bro for all this we're gonna go through it right quick I think this is hilarious he did a head swap between an El Torito and a Big E so I guess we got Little E and we got Big Torito I guess is what we can call it we can put him in the MDT uh, NXT division or MXT whatever I end up naming it I don't know and uh, who knows when I'll even start that. But uh, we got to get all those characters made. And he could be one of those, you know, Big Torito or wh whatever. And then you got Little E. So I think that's pretty good stuff there. He also sent us some cards right here, which I'm very appreciative of. Um, it's a bunch of random characters, you know. We got, like, some random Hall of Famers. We got some really cool stuff. But I love adding these to my WWE card collection. I have a bunch of cards that fans and different people have sent me. So I really appreciate those, bro. And then he sent me this uh, Elite 43 Samoan Joseph and uh, he actually taped up the leg. He had like some of the tape on there and I guess he had to pay the price for it because it literally stuck to it. I'm going to have to either wash that or something. He also added white outsoles to it, which I love. I love the white outsoles. I guess he knew that, so that's why he sent this over. And uh, he's got the elbow pad on there, the towel, and he did I think repaint his beard a little bit. So Samoa Joe looking great. I love Samoa Joe, new U.S. champion, and I love this bro, so thank you so much for the white outsole Joe. Pretty cool name, I guess. But uh, that was the first package I'm sorry that we're not going to unbox them there, but uh, here is the mask, which is pretty cool. If you guys didn't know, me and my brother, Brad, or Taylor, or whatever you want to call him, are big Friday the 13th fans and horror fans, so I guess he knew that, so he sent us this custom painted Jason mask, and it's pretty sweet. I like the paint color. He did a pretty good job on it. Whoever did this, if it was him or not, it looks great, and I appreciate this. Probably the most unique thing that a fan has ever sent me, so I really appreciate that, bro. That is freaking fantastic, and this will go into the fan mail section as well but we also have two packages right here to open for you guys and the first one does come from my boy Dominic WWE underscore dot figures on Instagram he sent us some good stuff guys and uh, I am super excited for it he also threw in this this is an extra and we did not talk about this but it is a shiny basic sort of championship and I don't know I, it's not like totally dull I guess Mattel they didn't start switching to the really dull titles until later on but you can see it's the old scratch logo so this is more of an earlier Mattel fig, uh, figure belt, and I like it a lot. It's really cool. We also made a deal for these Lex Luger boots or the Ricochet boots, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put this in my fodder bin because I could use some of these later on for a custom. We also had an Elite 45 Seth Rollins. You guys know this is one of my favorite figures that Mattel's ever made, and it does have the Elite 57 head scan on there. Really good for customs and parts. I think this makes my seventh Elite 45 Rollins, so we're going to be doing some customs and fix-ups and stuff of that nature with this Rollins, and this was pretty sweet. I thought this was awesome. He also threw in, uh, I, I was really just wanting the Ricky Steamboat DM fodder, which is the torso, the crotch, and the legs, but he added these Elite Brodus clay boots, I think they are, and then he added a random arm, which isn't the same skin tone, but that's not a big deal, a random masked wrestler. I think it's like, I don't know, It's it may be Ultimo Dragon, or it may just be some random masked wrestler, but the head scan fits this so well. It's like a creator wrestler. I thought this was so cool that he threw this together and he is a absolute beast. So thank you so much for this, bro. I'm going to get usage out of all of this and uh, he already received his package from me. Our trade did go down well. So if you guys are looking to trade with Dominic or WWE underscore dot figures on Instagram, very reliable, very cool dude, epic guy on Instagram. So definitely he all checks out and he provides excellent trades. So definitely go check him out. But uh, I am so happy with everything that we picked up. I think that this wrestler looks so cool like he is. I mean, if we got a skin toned arm that matched this, I think that he could go straight into the pick fed or whatever and it would be perfect. So, thank you so much for this, man. I really like this creator wrestler. I hate to even break him down and use the parts, so maybe I can put together my own little guy or something, but I thought that was just so cool that he looks like a legit creator wrestler from 2K or something. So, that is a figure that we got there. I totally am a bonehead and forgot to read our note from Cody. 
But uh, let's go ahead and open this up. This is from the guy who sent us the first package that we looked at. It says, to MDT, hey bro, hope you like the package. Cody Fowler 04. And you guys already saw what he sent us. So thank you so much, Cody, for that. And then we're going to move on to our last package, which is from my boy Daniel or Black Mass Customs. We're just going to dump everything out, I guess, right here. And you guys will see what we got. He didn't leave me a note, but uh, I, know, I know he sends well wishes. The first figure that we got is an elite Kevin Owens from the WrestleMania match where he fought Chris Jericho. I think it was WrestleMania 33. This is sort of custom fodder. He did paint over the logo, I do believe. And it does have boots on there instead of the kick pads. I don't know what he was going for. I don't know if he was trying to make a Kevin Steen or an NXT Kevin Owens or what he was trying to do. But now we have an extra KO to do customs and stuff of that nature. And then we have another Kevin Owens that he sent in. And I think this one, he acetoned the logo off instead of painting it, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But he also has the Luke Harper arms on there, that bicep fix-up, which I love. I love that fix-up. It looks way better for Kevin Owens. And the only problem I have with this figure is the legs are a bit loosey-goosey, but I can't actually fix that. So that's not a big deal to me. I don't know if this was the Elite 47 Kevin Owens, or I don't think so. I think this was the Elite 53, and he switched the lower legs again and removed all the all the logos off of there. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So we have a couple Kevin Owens for customs. We also have some white kick pads that I'm going to do a really cool fix-up slash custom with. Um, it's always good to get white kick pads for all white attires for guys like Finn Balor, for guys like uh, anybody I want to do a white attire for. It's kind of cool that he, he left out the lower leg of the other one, I'm pretty sure, but that's not a big deal. I have like a million of these in my fodder box, and so I'm going to add these to that. We also have a pair of knee pads, and I believe that these are going to go on Kurt Angle, I do believe, on the next episode of Action Figure Surgery. I wanted to uh, get those large knee pads off of my Elite 59 Kurt Angle, so we're going to switch these onto there next time we have an Action Figure Surgery episode, which will be episode number 20. And then we have, and this, uh, this dude is an absolute man, we did a trade for one Elite 37 head scan for Seth Rollins. You guys know how I feel about this head scan. I absolutely love it, which will probably be switching onto the Elite 45 figure, I think. I think that will look absolutely bomb. I've seen quite a few people do that, I know, because uh, when Elite 45 came out, people were doing it all the time, and I have never personally ever done that, so I'm probably going to have to do that to one of my Elite 45 Rollins. But I think that uh, he said he felt bad because he hadn't shipped yet. He, like, took a minute to ship. So he threw in an extra Elite 37 head scan. So now we not only have one, but two more Elite 37 head scans. So now my collection is runneth over with Elite 37 Seth Rollins head scans. So I'm super excited for that. I love this head, this Seth Rollins head. Um, along with Top Talents, I, I don't know how many combined I have of Elite 37 and Top Talents, but it's a lot. You guys know that Seth Rollins is the the guy that I have the second most figures of in my collection. First is John Cena, then it is the man, Seth freaking Rollins. So Rollins is continuing to build up his collection in my damn collection. But uh, what an epic haul we got here today, guys. I'm going to go ahead and set everything up, and we will wrap up this WWE action figure haul video. So here is our entire haul all lined up, guys. Of course, we have the little E figure, Elite 45 Seth Rollins, two Kevin Owens Elite Fodders, the creator wrestler from my boy Dom. We got a Samoa Joe, and then we have have our big Torito back there with our cards and little goodies and our epic AF, two Elite 37 Seth Rollins head scans, and of course our custom Jason mask in the back from my boy Cody. Thank you so much again to everybody who sent stuff in. Um, also follow my boy Daniel who sent us the uh, Rollins head scans and everything at Black Mask Customs on Instagram. Really underrated customizer and he's a really young kid who is an absolute baller. I actually got to meet him. One of the only uh, fans of MDT that I've ever met in person so uh, shout out to you Daniel thank you so much brother and uh, yeah what an epic haul I'm super excited to get some usage out of all of this I am grinding hard on MDT Live episode 12 guys so that we can get to the MDT Royal Rumble as fast as possible because that is going to be the biggest pick fed show that I've personally ever done I know that sold out was an hour and 25 minutes long or so and it was a really great show really good feedback from you guys but we're going to go above and beyond that with the MDT Royal Rumble. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, huge shout out to everybody that contributed 
to this little haul here today. I cannot wait for WWE action figure surgery. We also have some ringside hauls coming in and some Mattel hauls. Really good figures. The brand new Elite Series 67, Retro Fest, other things coming in very, very soon so you guys can look out for the reviews and the, and the surgeries and everything and everything like that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.